let's go back to the old problem of uh, two moving vehicles that, that are on the roads that are perpendicular to each other. In this case, police car is chasing the suspect car and police car's uh, speed is 0.5 un uh, unit of distance over uh, unit of time. And uh, uh, speed of the suspect car is 0.8 uh, unit of um, distance per unit of time. So because police car is getting closer and closer to the intersection of the two perpendicular uh, roads, um, the, the velocity of police car is a negative velocity and suspect is trying to move away and therefore uh, his distance from the uh, cross section is uh, basically the, uh, from the cost of the roads, uh, crossing of the roads is getting uh, bigger and bigger. Now, um, it, so how do we start? If this distance is X and this distance is Y, um, these two uh, are basically uh, determine what's the distance between the police car and the suspect car, the direct distance between the police car and suspect car is, let's say police car has to um, use their uh, speed on a speed gun to, to figure out the suspect car. And so they, they need to know uh, this distance or they need to know uh, how um, basically the, their speed, the relative speed between them and the suspect car is related to the actual uh, speed of themselves and the suspect car. That's, that's I think, it's no more um, uh, logical part of it. So let's say police car is interested in finding the uh, relative uh, speed of the or velocity between them and the suspect car. Um, so how do we go? We, we know the distance between police car and the suspect car. Let's uh, call that D uh, uh, and the distance of the police car from the um, uh, crossing of the roads and the distance of the uh, suspect car from the crossing of the road the roads uh, creates a right triangle. So I'm going to use the uh, basic uh, uh, Pythagorean um, relationship between these three variables. Again, X and Y are uh, independent of each other, but D is related to X and Y. So how X and Y are changing. Um, and then if I uh, basically take the derivative of this, I have to remember D, X and Y are all functions of time. So I end up with 2D, D, 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 T. Uh, is equal to 2x dx dt, and they're all changing. So, uh, and then 2y dy and dt. And so, for example, for the, for, and we stop them, we stop the time, and, and this is their distance and their, um, uh, basically their speeds, and, and we want to figure out what, what is on the board is all of those. If I plug in, I can solve for the, um, uh, for the speed, um, the relative speed between the suspect car and the, uh, uh, police car, basically, or relative velocity between the two of them. Um, now, what happens if I um, actually um, uh, look at this when everything is moving? So let's start moving and see what happens then. Um, let's start the play. And so you see that the at some point the relative velocity was negative right there and now it became positive. And again, again, I'm starting again the entire motion. Sometimes it's negative, then at some point becomes zero and then again positive. When the relative velocity is negative, that means that the two of them are getting closer to each other. Uh, when the rel relative velocity is zero means that the, they are the closest to each other. 
each other. And then when the relative uh, velocity becomes positive, means they're getting away from each other, actually. Um, so that's that's basically it. So uh, it really depends on, even though both speeds are um, the same, but both velocities are the same, X and Y, um, the, uh, the distance between them is changing at different uh, speed depending on the, uh, the, the basically the distance also.